What's up guys, this is uh, MRI Man coming at you with another one. This video is about motivation on achieving your goals or becoming successful. Just, these are just some of my stories that I want you guys, you know, to know so you guys can get, you know, get to know me a little better and maybe my stories will help you or inspire you, hopefully. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. I can't tell my whole story through this video, um, but we'll start. Back in uh, 2009, 10, I was in my early 20s, probably like 22 or something. I was on, you know, I was, I, I still didn't really know what I wanted to do. I had, I had been getting a lot of random jobs. Anyway, I was working at Target. Um, I had lost my car at the time. Didn't have a car, so I was taking a bus to work or getting dropped off. And, you know, I was... Thankful I had a job. I was getting these little checks. wasn't really going anywhere. And I, I, my dad would always tell me, he was like, you know, this is a temporary job. You know, get what you can. Do the best you can here. But always know that it's temporary. You know, it's not, not forever. So I was like, okay. I went in with that mentality. I did a great job. I worked hard. Um, I remember getting a raise, man. My raise was like five cents, something ridiculous. And it was, I was just like, wow, this is crazy, you know? And there I met uh, my girlfriend, which is now my wife. Um, and she was talking about going to a, like a medical uh, assistant slash phlebotomy school or whatever. And I was like, eh, I didn't have nothing going on. So I, I went with her and I didn't even plan on signing up actually. And, uh, the counselor guy, whatever signs you up, he's like, hey, so what are you doing? I was just like, I just work at Target. He's like, well, I guarantee you can make, you know, double what you're making at Target. You know, I don't know how much I was making at the time, maybe eight, seven or eight bucks or whatever. I don't know, something ridiculous. And I was like, really? I'm like, how long is this program? He's like, oh, it's, you know, whatever it was at the time, six months. I was just like, man, all right, I'll sign up. Didn't know. Didn't know, you know, what to expect. So I got in class, got the medical books, and I was, you know, really into it. I like to study. We were studying together. Um, we ended up, you know, coming into more of a serious relationship. So we, we moved out together. I got out the house, left the nest, and we were renting this, uh, like, a back house, man. I don't know if it's like a, I guess you can call it a guest house in L.A. Uh, in L.A., they call them back houses. Anyway, it was like uh, I don't know, six fifty a month. It's basically basically like a studio or whatever. You know, we're surviving there, studying, getting our stuff done. But I remember, uh, you know, I had some crappy cars, man. Like old, like this old old Celica, just like no AC, nothing. You know, just driving in that LA heat, getting to work. So anyway, I'm studying, doing my thing. And I remember people at Target were just like, you're, ne you're never going to get a job being phlebotomist. What are you doing? You're wasting your time. How are you going to get a job? Da, da, da. Every day, dude, just like people just like telling me like, why are you wasting your time, you know? And they're like, I don't like that. Da, da, da. Why would you do that? Ah, I wouldn't do that. And, you know, trying to bring me down, you know, I was just like, man, I started to almost started to think myself I wasn't going to be able to get a job, you know? So I pushed through, we, we graduated, boom, you know, um, and started looking for work, boom, we both got, ended up getting jobs within, you know, a couple months, whatever, and I was working at this uh, blood, blood donation bank or plasma donation bank, and uh, crazy thing, I actually seen people that told me I couldn't get a job, they actually were coming in to donate blood or sell their plasma, you know, for money. And they saw me, and I just remember, like, the look on this one guy's face is, like, he just saw, like, a bear or something. Like, he was just, like, shocked. He's like, what? And I'm just like, yeah, I got a job. He could not believe it. And then he's like, oh, where's that school? I want to go to that school. And, you know, so it's like, if you have a goal and you want to achieve it, you can you can focus in on it. And you could achieve it, man. Like... Despite what everybody says, if you really want a job, you really want to do something, you put your mind to it, 
and you're out there. I was out there searching for jobs. I would show up places, apply online, everywhere, man. You can get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Another story. So I'm doing the phlebotomy job. I was there for some time, man. You know? <sighs> Almost probably like five years. But three years into it, I was just like, you know, for when you when I first got into it, I'm like, oh, I made it. You know, I was all happy. And I was like, this is it, you know? And then I was like, well, you know, the pay is not that great anymore. You know, you get the raise and all that. I, you know, I doubled my money, but it just wasn't where I wanted to be. My job wasn't hard. And I was like, man, I need to get into something else, you know? But since I'm in the, I was already kind of in the medical field, I started meeting other people. And uh, I met this, through one of my friends, I met his cousin and he was an MRI tech. And I was like, cool, like, so you, did you, you know, how was it? Like, how was this, the, the class? Was it hard? Da, da, da. He's like, you know, he didn't seem like the smartest guy in the world. Uh, but he was telling me, he's like, no, nah, you can do it. It's, you know, two years and an externship. And I was like, really? You know, like, where's this school at? And it was not too far from my house. So I'm like, hmm, okay. I'll give it a shot. So boom, I, I got in. Same thing, got to my back to my, my uh, phlebotomist job. Everybody's like, do you really think you're going to be able to get a job doing that? There's no jobs out there. What are you doing? You're wasting your time. Oh, you got that school loan? How are you going to do it? Oh, you're going to school all the time? How are you going to keep your family together? You know, all these negative things. Everybody was just like, no way, you're not going to do it. Can't do it. You're not going to make it. How are you going to do externship and work? How are you going to do that? Do that. And then, like, I was just like, man. I just had to ignore all those people, hang around the people that were motivating to me. Like, yeah, cause talk to those people. I wouldn't, I kept my goals to myself over there. You know, it, they, it got to the point where I was done and people forgot that I was going to school. I didn't bring it up anymore. You know, people forgot I was going to school. They're like, oh, you what? You're still in school? Yeah, I was like, I'm done. I'm leaving. You know, I, I'm done. You know, I got a job. People were like, people were shocked. I got a job. Like, didn't take that long. You know, cause I I knew what I wanted. I knew I could make it. Like I knew it. I saw myself out there just working. You know. So, my thing is like, whether you're on your way to be an MRI tech or an X-ray tech, CT tech. And you got people telling you at your job, oh, you, you, you can't get a job. Oh, you can't. How are you going to do that? How are you going to pay your student loan? How are you going to do it with your kids? How are you going to do it with your, your wife, your girlfriend? Oh, man, forget all those people, man. If you want to do something, you need to go for it, man. Just go and get it. You know, don't listen to anybody, man. Because you know what? I can go back to that target. And I bet you I'll still see the same people there doing the same thing, driving the same car, living the same life. Maybe they got promoted for, you know, they get, they earned a couple more dollars. But for the, the sacrifice that I did to get to where I'm at was worth it. You know, I'm in a better position now. You know, I'm setting new goals. You know, so... Whatever you're trying to achieve in life, whatever you're trying to do, you don't always have to tell everyone your goals, you know. Only tell the people that care about it will motivate you. There's going to be people that as soon as you say something, oh, you can't do that. Nope, nope, you can't. You, you can never be a writer. You can never be an author or, you know, weed those people out. I'm telling you. And I'm going to wrap this up, but I've came a long way. I was riding the bus, then I hopped into an old little Celica with no AC, and now I got two cars, AC, moved out that uh, back that little studio back house. Now I got a two bedroom, two baths, so I'm doing better now, paying my bills on time, able to go on vacations, doing a lot better. Am I going to stop where I'm at now? No, I'm going to keep going. I'm going I'm to set more goals, block all the haters out, and keep going. So, you know, you guys take this info, step it up, reach your success, motivate yourself, get it going. All right, I'm out.